Yes, they're there drinking their finest champagne and gobbling caviar, having a big eugenics summit, dealing with world forced inoculations, cutting off power supplies, stopping mobility. We're going to be talking with Charlie Skelton of the London Guardian. Uh, he's also written for the Evening Standard, done reports for BBC One. The list goes on and on. And just just uh, now, after he's filed his London Guardian report, he can now spill his guts about what he has uh, witnessed. And he told me he is going to spill his guts. But, but, but even more will be in the new report he's filing today and another tomorrow. And then, of course, some next week after the World Government uh, Conference uh, elapses Sunday morning. Uh, but before I go any further, I want to thank one of our uh, sponsors, EcolaBlue.com, the atmospheric water generator in high demand, folks. Uh, they sell out quite often, so get your order in. It grabs water out of the atmosphere, the purest, cleanest water you can get. EcolaBlue, E-C-O-L-O-B-L-U-E dot com. EcolaBlue dot com or 800-691-6043. They have a special running from Thursday, June 3rd. Until Sunday, June 6th, we'll have operators there. 12 months of filters with all the color blue units. That's a multi-hundred dollar uh, value discount. Uh, so tell them Alex sent you when you put in the product code at acolablue.com or 800-691-6043, 800-691-6043, com. And lastly, we're not funded by the Ford Foundation or the media uh, or the government. We are funded and supported by you uh, the listeners of this radio slash TV transmission. And you can see all of my films in super high quality at prisonplanet.tv, 15 cents a day. Uh, you can download other films we've been authorized to post there, like Camp FEMA, uh, that is going up Monday. We've been a little bit behind posting that. We, we, we uh, posted, uh, of course, Don't Tread on Me two weeks ago, uh, The Police State for the Rise of FEMA, Invisible Empire, No Order Defined, uh, and uh, the live simulcast of the radio show, a higher bit rate podcast. But, but, but more than that, your $5.95 a month funds so much of what we do here. So I want to thank all of the prisonplanet.tv members, uh, who have been members over the years, six plus years up and running. We're adding a lot of new features, as you've noticed, uh, to the sites, uh, and, uh, making it even more easy to navigate. There's just so much media there. I don't know if we've even updated those subsections that have old media in them. You've got to actually log in to see all the new stuff. Prisonplanet.tv. You can also go to Infowars.com, the secure online video uh, bookstore, and order films like Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. I travel to Bilderberg. I confront them. I, I uh, get in their face. I bullhorn them. And you're about to hear about their fear four years later uh, concerning this from a Guardian reporter. Uh, we show their own documents, their own statements about a planetary regime to cut off resources so they can control us. Uh, uh, poverty is the greatest control tool. This film is the most essential of my 20-plus documentaries, available at InfoWars.com. Uh, you can also uh, get Invisible Empire. That's a kind of an updated version of this with the overall world government uh, program. Uh, that's one of our newest films. Again, all available at InfoWars.com. You can also write to us, P.O. Box 19549. That's P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 78760. And uh, get the DVDs and films that way. And we've got combos where some of the films are as low as $5 a piece, like Loose Change Final Cut. In fact, you can get it for 5 bucks by itself. Um, and again, I want to thank you. We couldn't pay for the servers, the the, the webmasters, the camera people, the engineers, uh, the plane tickets, all of it without you. We've done something really special here, and I want to commend you and thank you and all of our sponsors that have also made it possible. So be sure and continue to support if you want to see this work continue and expand. Okay, shifting gears back into Charlie Skelton. Uh, here are the headlines. Uh, we've got uh, one by Paul Joseph Watson today. This is being reported by the major French news at a press conference. Uh, he snuck into Spain, got caught there, and now admits that eugenicist Bill Gates to attend 2010 Bilderberg Conference. Uh, but the really big news, because it shows how scared they are internally, and it shows this mirrors what Zbigniew Brzezinski said three weeks ago uh, in Canada when he said, for the first time, the whole world is awake to world government and not just our puppet politicians, but the actual power structure. We're in trouble. People said, well, he's playing possum. No, he's not playing possum. Uh, and so Bilderberg see people with income as threat to their agenda. 
This was filed in part two of his London Guardian report, Bilderberg 2010, the security lockdown, Charlie Skelton. Uh, and uh, he joins us. He can now tell us the day he was kicked out Wednesday before it started. Always key intel. What security people did to him and his wife, what he overheard them saying, and then he could tell us what happened yesterday and today. Charlie Skelton, thank you for joining us, sir. Hello, lovely to be back. Good to have you. So uh, you've got the floor. Uh, you can now, since you filed your reports, tell us, because, uh, you know, it's good to give them the scoop first. They paid to send you there. You work for them. Uh, tell us the incredible what you witnessed inside, sneaking about, spying on them, and uh, before they kicked you out, and then what's happened since then? Yeah, well, first of all, uh, yeah, to, to, to talk about what you mentioned, um, we uh, we sat ourselves at dinner next, this is a couple of days before the, um, in fact, the night before lockdown, so whatever night that would have been, Tuesday night, um, and uh, we um, sat next to some of the conference organizers, because what people have to remember is that this is, apart from anything else, it's a big conference, so there's a large team of uh, extremely well-oiled conference organizers who, who run the whole show every year, at least the, you know, the core team members do, and they were having their dinner, and so we sat ourselves down nice and innocently next to uh, their table, and we just sat and pretended to have a conversation all night whilst listening, so uh, yeah, we did a little bit of earwigging, and uh, one of the things that we heard that was most astonishing was was the discussion that took place about uh, about you and about your um, presence uh, at Bilderberg with your bullhorn. And they started saying, you know, they said, you've seen the videos from that year. This is a quote. You've seen the videos from that year. They were very close to the hotel. And the, the, the person looked in absolute terror and said, but did they ever try to attack? And the person looked back equally fearful and said, no, no, but it was scary. It was very scary. There was a demonstration at the walls. And... You, you know, did they ever try to attack? And they were asking this absolutely seriously. And they were having this discussion. And, you know, I'm here now with, with uh, looking, I'm, I'm here with people and the people who are standing here at the roundabout, much as you did before. And, you know, they're, 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 saying, they're, they're, they're saying their slogans and they're holding their banners. And there's an awful lot of, there's a little bit of anger towards the people up the hill. But generally speaking, there's a lot of love towards humanity and there's a lot of concern and anxiety. And what there isn't is, is there's no great attack going on. The only attack is is there's an attack upon the ideas that are that, that, that are being uh, talked about upstairs. The only attack is upon their strategies. And but they honestly, these these people were sitting there and they had fear in their eyes, and it was quite extraordinary. So you know, I, I don't quite. They've, they've completely misunderstood at one level. I suppose in one level they've got it right, but uh, what, they've they've completely misunderstood what kind of people are outside. You know, they've they've they have demonised the concerned, interested citizen who is standing out here, who has travelled to whatever part of the world Bilderberg happens to be in and is holding their flag and is, is chanting their chant. And, and they see these people as the enemy. And they, what they don't understand is that these people who are standing out here chanting, they are the, they are the, the true friends of humanity. Well, that's the point you make in your well-written article. And I want to remind listeners, we contacted you last year hearing that the guardian was going to send a reporter there was a big announcement in the paper was promoting it we contacted you and you're like oh i you know kind of thought it was a joke yeah, yeah. and you know they were sending a reporter who, who they thought would really uh you know be balanced because you thought it was a joke and then once you got there and they harassed you and arrested you you know and now you've had this conversion of uh realizing but you uh you have some quotes here in your article he says um it says, uh, although uh, quite uh, why attending Bilderberg has to remain such a mystery, uh, mystery remains a mystery. The blackened windows, the limousines, the desperate camera dodging of the delegates, the paranoia was riding high amongst the conference organizers. A pair of them talked about 2006 Bilderberg conference in Ottawa, where the radio host Alex Jones led the protest with his megaphone. They were very close to the hotel. You're quoted uh, as as them saying, said one. Another looked shocked and said, did they ever try to attack? A shake of the head and the answer, no, but it was very scary. A third leaned in. This is the negative side of the welfare state. People have enough income so they can do this. It's like a permanent threat. And see, from what I've read by the phony environmentalist and the globalist, they want to shut the economy down, only allow uh, authorized, permitted travel, for government-approved reasons, they want a local environmental boss that controls every facet of your life, has nothing to do with environment, it's prison, 
And they say they want a post-industrial world to control us so that we literally only live and work in one town and maybe get to travel once in our lives. This is the policy. So what you heard yeah. uh, uh, was a major window into the mindset, and they see us as the enemy because they have a predatory view on us. and so.